Hello, folks. We are on the way to Red Rock. On the long way to Red Rock, I guess. With our Esper here. With Helga the Esper. That's cool. We have Crocosins. Yeah, we're going to equip those for now. We're going to keep the other ones. White brimmed hat. That is something I want to have. Okay. All right. There is a, uh, I think, Mechanimus Pilgrim indeed. Um, slate. <laughs> you know what? We're not that far. I'm going to try to kill that thing. Oh, not that thing. That guy. That might be a bad idea, but. I want that. Uh, yeah, it's not that great. Okay, that wasn't maybe not worth it, but uh, we might have like that won't give us a significant minus on reputation. I don't think. So yeah, what was? Okay, the slate frog is worse than I thought. So, the woven tunic is actually better. Okay, forget it. I. For some reason, I was remembering the Slate Frog being good. Well. Doesn't matter. Got us 200 experience. Whatever. I think we can actually get to level 5 until we... Until we go in. So, let's just stay outside here for just a little bit. See if we can find some good stuff. Weird artifact. That might be a grenade. No, it's three pounds. It's a stun rod with a cell in it. Um. Yeah. Also, one other thing about uh, yeah, that's a chem cell. About uh, getting basic tinkering is that. We can... Oops, wrong one. I'm sorry, doggy. Is that uh, we can charge cells. Which is good, because then we don't need to lug around a billion of them. Desert Canyon. Okay, we are north of the Red Rock Plains, actually. As I cracked lens, which is going to pick up bits of scrap that we can find. Level 5. Awesome. Okay, let's buy a new random mutation. Yes. So we can get cryokinesis, which I'm probably going to do. Space-time vortex. <coughs> yeah. Uh, You sunder space-time, sending things nearby, careening through a tear in the cosmic fabric. That would also be a good nuclear option. Confusion is not completely implemented at the moment, so that's not good. Um, that would be a good nuclear option. It's maybe a bad idea, but I'm going to get cryokinesis. And uh, let's do this a little differently. We're going to put chill on two and the fourth wall on three. I'm going to get teleport other on four and clairvoyance on five. I need to remember that I have clairvoyance. Um, sprint, we're going to put where we always have sprint, actually, and that's there. Okay. Well, uh, I guess that works. Oh dear. There's a bunch of barathromites here. A neutral, good. What's there? Where is the dude? Down there. There's the dude. Hey, buddy. Okay. Um, with the Gersh went down, with worms went up, with hermits went down. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Learn tinkering. Minus 100. Nine! Oh no! I said nine, yeah, good. 
Ah, that's bad. I did not want to do that, because now I can't get tinkering. <laughs> Item not feathered. <laughs> Crap. But we're going to have to do this water ritual again. I can't... I don't actually have any secrets. Hmm. Um... I mean, we can probably get tinkering from other Barathromites. Right, I want we get there, but, uh... Oh, I could have got, could have gotten that. Well, you know, we know where this guy is. He is somewhere north of, uh, there's 22 drums of honey. I'm just going to get that. He's somewhere north of Red Rock. Ah, what a bummer. What a bummer. Well... Whatever. Isn't isn't that important right now. We have also 196. We still have only 18 agility. <sighs> I mean, we, we could just get tinkering, but, you know, 100 SP. Endurance. We should get endurance as well. There's a lot of stuff we can get. Ah, oh, you know what? Let's just keep going for now. Planes. Oh no. There we go. Travel to Red Rock. Here we are. In the place. Where I belong. Let's go down. There usually isn't much interesting around here. And, uh, yeah. We're going to do the Red Rock thing. A long time no see, Red Rock. Right. Not much of a problem here. Not much of a problem. Oops, I don't want to attack that thing. I want to attack the seed spitting vine. Uh, it's way more important. Doop de doo. Wooden tunic. There a trinket in there? Nope, there isn't. But a burnt capacitor, we're going to pick that up. Okay. Alright. Iron maze. Bunch of crap. I wonder if they're going to revamp um, Red Rock at some point. In terms of the things that you have to do, it's kind of the least interesting, but it's actually also kind of nice to just have a straightforward dungeon romp at the start, I guess. Wooden arrow. Okay. Killed steel battle axe. Yeah. Let's go down. Kudzus. The most fun of all of these. Why did the snapjaw. Oh! The snapjaw scavenger was killed by a young ivory. <laughs> That's. Uh, I like when that stuff happens. And there's a painted bronze battle axe. Let's take a look. Okay. All right, we have a quest. Recover spicy sir. Um, a price spicy sir. What is that? Hmm. We don't know. All right. All right. Water skin. No. Let's rest up for a bit. Let's have our laser recharge for a bit. Let's keep going. Just going to take out a bunch of kudzus here. Uh, that's the stairs down. Okay. Wooden. Yeah. 
Oh, hello. Okay, let's take all of this. And to beat a bracelet, vine wafer. Good. Snap your warrior. Oh no, it's a warlord, not a warrior, obviously. Let's take out this guy. Let's rest up. And here we are. All right. Okay. Red Rockin. Red Rockin. I always feel that there isn't really a lot of interesting things that happen during Red Rock. Uh, which would wreath? No, Fractured Microchip. We're just going to pick those up. I'm just going to pick up a bunch of scrap. Don't rust anything, please. Thank you. Alright, good. Alright, I guess that's it for now. Let's go down. Red Rock level 3. Hmm, bunch of chests here. I'm not going to pick up the copper nuggets actually. Like, they only give us 10, and since we are high ego, there isn't actually much sense in that. Because, like... It's just a bunch of peanuts. Oops, an electrofuge, actually. Oh. Come on. All right. And a spider fighting a jilted lover. Oh, now they bear. It could actually be a little dangerous now. All right, the bear is dead. And we've butchered it. Yeah, 150 experience. That's a lot at this point. Okay. Bunch of centipedes. It's always fun. Okay. <laughs> Two wooden arrows in a chest. What a sad chest that is. Weird artifact. That looks like a grenade. Yes, it does. Wooden arrows. I think it actually makes sense to pick up all these grenades and so on, because we can... Um, we could disassemble them at some point, right? I'm still furious with myself that I didn't... You know, that I didn't get tinkering there. Ah, so bad. Dreadroot bones. Recently there was a commenter saying, You're so bad at this- Oh fuck, I've been grabbed by the jilted lover! Dear me. Oh dear, that's bad. That is bad. That's bad news. Let's start sprinting! You're being watched? Holy shit. Holy shit! What the hell is this? You are being watched. It is a familiar feeling. When someone has watched you in the past, when it's light that's betrayed your presence, you made a friend of the darkness. You pulled your hat brim low over your eyes. You stepped behind the cover of a thatched wall. But those who watch you now watch in spite of such simple obstructions. Their sight isn't mediated by the rays of a gleaming star or torch, but by something much older. If there are ways to conceal yourself from these seeing eyes, if there are new kinds of darknesses to befriend, you know nothing of them. Holy shit. Okay, this might be new. I think I didn't actually take a look at the last feature Friday. No, I did. 
No, I didn't. September 15, yeah. That's been some time ago. Never had that happen. I've never had that. I've never had that happen before. Hmm. Nope. <clears throat> Yeah, cool. Something's going on. Something ominous. But, uh, I'm alright with it. Are you attacking me? Are you going after me? No, you're not. Okay. Uh, huh. <laughs> I like it. So, um, okay. So now we can actually get bow and rifle. Now we need to do that. We have 170 points remaining. We could get bloodletter. Yeah, having a chance to b cause bleeding is nice. And we could get tinkering. Mm. I know what. Fuck it. We're just going to get tinkering. It's a disassemble tinker one. Yeah, we need a little higher intelligence for that, but that's okay. Well, that's going to come at some point, but, uh... Psychic Glimmer. A noticeable you are in the vast Psychic Aether. Okay, so that is actually... Aha! So it has something to do with being an Esper. The thing is, uh... That m I... Yeah. That must have come into the game after the last time I've played an Esper. Because, uh... Okay, as your mental mutations increase in level, so does your psychic glimmer and the frequency, strength and number of those who desire to absorb your mind. Currently you're being watched and pursued by ospreys, pitos servants and birds of psychic prey who pluck level esper from their egg sacs. Okay, so you're actually being an esper, actually there's a thing going on here where we are being chased by something. That is cool. Man, I like that. Okay, let's see. Come at me, I guess. Ooh. Ominous. Yeah, I love this. There's already another cool thing. Basic toolkit, let's get that. We're definitely not going to get chain mail. Yeah, I wonder. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to see what that actually entails. So, what I think it will be is sort of, um, but that doesn't need to be right. Um, is leather cloak? What was leather cloak? I think it's the same as the worn news, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what I think it is, is that there's going to be enemies spawning in, like special enemies that are after us, I guess, after our psychic mojo or something. I'm not sure, but I'm looking forward to it happening. I frosted myself for a bit there. Okay. <coughs> All right, sure. So far, so good. Oops. Can I re? Am I going to die from that? Nope. That was a gamble. I would have used a bandage at two or one, I guess. <laughs> Maybe that was a little reckless, but, uh, well, it did work out. Another young ivory. Well, bones on the young ivory. What a sneaky thing. Oh, oh shit. 
Yeah, you have to be careful about being grabbed by the jilted lovers. That's just unfortunate when that happens. Oops. Let's do some freezing again. Always fun. And we can walk on water and slip on the ice. Okay. Salty and then nothing going on here. Less painted stuff. Okay, freeze grenade, that's alright. Colleagues. Isn't that... Wait. Yeah. Aff good. Afflictions and their cures. Awesome. Now well, we already have that. That is fantastic. So you you can get that at Kia Cookia. So the mayor always will have that book. Um. But... Now we already have it. You need to worry about that. And that will teach us how to get rid of any kind of sickness and fungal infection and all this kind of... Man, three corpses, three beta bracelets. Um, yeah, and fungal infection and all that kind of crap. Apparently that was also something that a commenter said was um, the Six Day Stood is a good place to get the stuff you need against any kind of affliction. So, yeah, that's actually something I forgot to do in the in the in the in the long run. In the last long run, was uh, going to the Six Day Stood. We could have done that at some point, you know, when we were up there in the at the asphalt mines. We could have done that. All right. Let's get some Sultan history going here. We need to definitely learn a few secrets. So that we don't have the embarrassing thing that happened the last time. When we were doing the water ritual. And stuff like that just doesn't happen anymore. That would be very nice. Jewel encrusted, so I'm going to take it with me. We're kind of running out of space to carry stuff, so. I mean, it's not like we're going to find anything super interesting down here, but you know, you never know. All right. So, a bunch of crap here. Right. Cloth overalls, crocosins. Good. All right. I'm going to end this here. Thank you for watching. And I sure do hope to see you again next time. And uh, we're going to make our way back to Joppa, which isn't going to be that long anymore, I guess. And, uh, and we're going to re emerge. Bye-bye.